The End Malaria Council is mandated to see Kenya eradicate malaria by 2030. The 11 member council will also establish systems for malaria elimination in target counties, which are mainly found in the Lake Victoria region, the coast, and the highland areas. For the national average, the burden of malaria is not spread evenly across our great country. The greatest burden, as was ably demonstrated here in the presentation, the council is set to provide leadership and management for implementation of malaria inventions and also bridging malaria resources gaps. Healthy economy requires healthy and educated workers, especially as we look forward to the recovery following the ongoing pandemic. To succeed in our mission to end malaria, we must address financial resource gaps that have been demonstrated here by the able presenters. And what uh, Gifuka said about the resource gap of 24 billion to fully implement our current malaria strategic plan, which covers between 2019 and 2023, is indeed a challenge. We must close this gap to ensure that we have the required malaria supplies to not only treat malaria, but effectively prevent it in the first place. 15% of Kenya hospital visits in the country are attributed to malaria with the disease being the highest killer of children under five years. According to CDC, there are an estimated 3.5 million new clinical cases and 10,700 deaths each year in Kenya. And those living in western Kenya have an especially high risk of malaria as it does in many countries around the world. Sazamunga, Switch TV.